FNM3M, GAO 21, is a 50 caliber, 12.7 by 99 mm, single barrel rapid fire machine gun suitable for rotary wing aircraft applications providing defensive firepower ranging out to nearly 2,000 meters. The M3 series is used by the US military in two versions, the M3M and M3P. The fixed, remote firing version, the FNM-3P, is employed on the Avenger air defense system and is currently being used on the OH-58D, augmenting the XM-296 50 caliber machine gun. The M3M flexible machine gun has been adopted by USN under the designation GAO-21A for use on helicopters. The GAO-21A is also being used by the United States Marine Corps to upgrade from the XM-218 GAO-1650 caliber machine gun for the CH-53E, on the UH-1Y Venom, and on the Canadian Fosses CH-146 Griffin via the Ingress upgrade. The FNM-3M was designated by the U.S. Navy as the GAO-21 in 2004 and is currently used by all services within the U.S. Department of Defense. An evolution of the M350 caliber heavy machine gun, it produces a blistering 1,100 rounds per minute cyclic rate of fire through the use of open bolt operation and a dual recoil buffer system. Operating independent of either electrical or hydraulic power sources, the M3M GAO 21's unique soft mount system enhances weapon accuracy and minimizes the firing vibration transmitted to the airframe. The testing is part of the Air Combat Command's HH-60 Defensive Weapons System Upgrade Modification Proposal. The FN Herstal M3M, designated the GAO-21, is an open bolt system with a barrel life of 10,000 rounds, a cyclic rate of fire of up to 1,100 rounds per minute, and reduced recoil over standard .50 caliber weapons due to the use of a soft mount. As a proven weapon system, the current test effort is focused on integrating the GAO-21 into the HH-60G weapon platform using the gun mount ammunition handling system, which was designed for the Air Force by the Navy. The objective of this test effort is to evaluate the ballistic dispersion of the GAO-21 50 caliber machine gun mounted to the HH-60G via the GAO-21 GMOs when operated in the fixed forward to fire and fixed side fire modes. The Navy and Marine Corps GAO-21 50 caliber weapon system, the GAO-21, began its initial deployment with UH-1Y helicopters. The Marine Light Attack Helicopter Squadron, HMLA-169, based at Camp Pendleton, Calif, is the first squadron to deploy with GAO-21 mounted on the UH-1Y Hueys. The GAO-21 has the capability to shoot at twice the rate of fire and is with one-third current dispersion of its predecessor, the GAO-16. The gun soft mount configuration increases the weapon's accuracy and flexibility while reducing wear on the aircraft. This was an accelerated delivery in response to a Marine Corps requirement, said Jim Shepard, GAO-21 Integrated Product Team Lead. Normally, a system would be fielded 12 to 14 months after completing testing but the Marines wanted to deploy two new requirements at the same time, UH-1Y with the GAO-21 weapon system. Our team worked vigorously to ensure we could execute on time in preparation for the weapon's first deployment on the Huey. A team from PMA-242 completed testing of the GAO-21 with the UH-1Y in May 2010 and the first system was fielded two months later. Since July, 88,000 rounds have been fired from the GAO-21 by HMLA-169 and the squadron has qualified all of their primary gun instructors in preparation for deployment, according to Shepard. The UH-1Y is one of the several aircraft equipped with the GAO-21. Currently, the weapon system is being used by the fleet on the CH-53D and E-Ramp mounted weapon system, CH-53D window mounts, and MH-60R and S. The GAO-21 program is managed by PMA-242, which is responsible for the acquisition, development, and sustainment of direct and time-sensitive strike weapon programs. <laughs>